it's a sky, the soulful progressive with Evan and Feminist News Network, the feminist news that's right for you. Welcome to the sky in the rainbow room. All right, giving you that soulful news you need. Yes, indeed. And if you haven't told a friend to like or subscribe to and get that soulful news today, you better let them know that soulful news is on its way. Hey, giving it to you with receipts and facts, because that's where it's at. Uh-huh. So, what do I want to talk to you about? What is going on? Who is attacking who? Ayanna Presley. Mm-hmm. And what is going on with... Ianna Presley, besides snapping back at Ben Carson in a hearing meeting, well, she was snapping back talking to Secretary of the Treasury Steve Mnuchin, giving him a little speaking to on what the. Just giving a snap back to Steve Mnuchin to let him know that it was a community effort that put out the making of the new $20 bill with Harriet Tubman's face on the front. Instead, he is taking to the liking of the man in the White House and his love for slave owner and creator of the uh, Trail of Tears, Andrew Jackson. A piece of America that we need to be passing down as a reminder of how we shouldn't be the man in the White House wants it to be. This is why we're in an era of hate. So we're going to take a quick look at democracy now and what went down and then we'll discuss what's really the fuss. And Treasury Secretary Steven Mnuchin said Wednesday, plans to replace Andrew Jackson's portrait on the $20 bill with abolitionist leader, former slave Harriet Tubman, are on hold until at right. least 2026. Tubman right. would be the first woman in over a century and the first African American to appear on a U.S. banknote. This is Massachusetts Absolutely. Democrat, right. freshman Congress member Ayanna Presley questioning Mnuchin on Wednesday. The American people understood the importance of representation on the bank notes of the world's most powerful economy. Do you support Harriet Tubman being on the $20 bill? I've made no decision as it relates to that, and that decision won't be made, in, 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 as I said, But there was a community process. There was a national, there was a, a, a community process. Uh, again, it's a decision of the Secretary of the Treasury. Right now, my decision is focused on security features. President Trump has cited Andrew Jackson as his favorite U.S. president. Jackson was a slaveholder who, in 1830, signed the Indian Removal Act, which forced 16,000 Native Americans from their lands in what became known as the Trail of Tears. I know that's right. She was telling it like it was in that regard. And why are they doing it? To keep Trump, to keep the man in the White House happy with his orange-haired ass? I guess so, because he's a lover of all things national as haters and like his father wants to hold all brown and black people down and then charge them for it and, and abuse them like they're abusing our taxes to run off to take care of regime change in countries that we shouldn't be bothering with. Did I say it because I meant it? I know ugliness throughout this administration. This is an era of hate, people. We do not need to have Steve Mnuchin as a Secretary of the Treasury in the first place, but this revolving door of hate within the administration that is racist and nationalist with our most racist president since the first Bush. It's ugly. And you thought Clinton was with his policies. He was really as much racist, if not more, as Trump when you look at it. Because he put just as many in jail. 
but Trump is just letting it be known that that's what he thinks of those brown people and this is how he's going to treat those brown and black people and this is how he doesn't want to help brown and black people and most definitely black people he's kicking all the blacks off his staff it's only a matter of time before even Ben Carson is gone he must be kissing butt really well to keep his spot as long as he has to even allow Elana Presley to talk about it. and if you agree with that and agreed to the fact that Harriet Tubman belongs on that $20 bill because she does. I don't even understand. If the people speak, let it be spoken. Let it be done. Holding it off to 26 ain't it. That's just showing their ugliness. And if you agree with it, and you know it's wrong, and we need to make him a one-term president so we can get the right person to bring it back and kick Steve Mnuchin off of that uh, secretary job so we can get the right secretary of the treasury to help and be there for all the people so we don't get robbed. Leave comments below and let me know. And you can always contact me at Feminist News Inn at gmail.com. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the YouTube channel and the Facebook page. And remember, I'm that soulful progressive on Twitter. And I also have that feminist news, feminism is for everyone T. Contact me and I can send you that PayPal link for that one woman show in case you want to donate. I would appreciate. Uh huh. So I want to say thanks for watching. Thanks for joining. And remember, in this era of hate, you got to participate. Because if not, the man in the White House is just going to get ugly and ugly. He's already showed all his true colors, but, the, but is it turning into something that people want or to something people fear? If it's something they want and fear, Either one ain't good. Something, something's got to be done to change this ugly course of history. So you got to vote. you got to vote. we got to come out there stronger than the 35 or 55 percent that we do. We need to be 80, 80, 90 percent out there voting so we can change America. That's my answer, man. And get rid of the superdelegates. Peace. Thanks for watching.